In this lesson, we're going to look at how to take a basic layout and adjust it or modify it so that if the user changes the position of the screen, it will flip the layout. Now, on your emulator like we have here, you saw there was a little bit of a delay, but on an actual device, it happens much faster. And also, on um, my emulator, if I switch it back, it doesn't flip back, but when I test it on my actual device, it does. So if you're testing this and you're thinking there's something wrong and you have to go back in and change it, uh, don't worry about it because I'm getting the same effect on my emulator as well. So to create a landscape layout from the last version of our Welcome to Android Apps file, I'm going to start by, I'm just going to duplicate this layout folder. We're going to make a copy of this and then modify it for our landscape layout. So I'm just going to right click on the layout folder and choose copy. And then I'm going to right click on the resources folder and paste so that it'll put a copy in the resources folder. So the name for my new layout folder is layout-land. Now if you use that same naming convention, Android will recognize that this is the version to use for our landscape view. So now we have a folder for landscape. I'm going to close the main XML file so that we only have one open at a time so that we don't get confused. And I'm just going to open up the main file under the layout land folder. And you can see just by double clicking and uh, opening it up that it already recognized that this is the landscape version. Now it didn't re uh, order everything in here, but we have a good place to start from. So we can work in here. We have this set up as a relative view, so I'm going to just move that up a bit. And if I want this centered, I'm going to stretch these out to the edges because it was already set to center. And I'm going to move the button down here. Now you can also see that in our outline, it still says that this is portrait relative. Remember, we gave this a name. So I want this to be distinct from the other one. So I'm going to click on that and go up to the ID. And instead of portrait, let's call it landscape. And so now you can see that it's been updated here. So we just duplicated the layout folder opened up the main XML file in the new layout land folder. Now if for some reason it doesn't recognize and put this into the landscape mode, you can go up here and change it from portrait to landscape. So I'm going to save this and I have my changes. So I'm going to go in and uh, preview it. I'm going to remember to click on the folder, the package name and I'm going to run this in my emulator. Okay, so my app is up in the emulator and now I want to switch to the landscape mode so um, it does take a second to catch up but also um, to do this it's control F11 on your keyboards and also on my Mac, in order to get it to work, I had to turn off the numlock key and then press 9. So home and page up are actually the keys on the Mac to switch back and forth. You can try that on Windows if you're having trouble getting it to switch. And as I mentioned before, um, it doesn't switch back in my emulator, but it does on my actual device. Alright, that's all you need to do in order to set it up for working on landscape.